Hey everyone, Andrew Storm here and welcome back to Forza. Today we have a bunch of cars to drive, starting out with the Mazda RX-7, the good old rotary engine, and we're going to hit a race with this thing. Now, I think I want to upgrade this thing. It's one of the very few rotary cars ever made, and I kind of think we should upgrade it to rev up a lot higher Maybe give it another rotor or two. Make it a car that's really good and that you can enjoy because it's one of the only rotary engines out there. We're hitting up this off-road race here. The rear wheel drive, it's very scary. I don't really hear the rotary in it. I definitely hear the turbos in the sounds but I'm not hearing that high revving that rotaries are supposed to have. But guess what? We can fix that with upgrades. This car is crushing the competition though. There's no one in sight. They're literally eating my dust. There we go, first place. All dusty, clean it, give it a good old wash after we're done with this. This thing would make a pretty dang good drift car. We could go with a wide body kit on this thing. That would be pretty radical. My gosh, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go custom upgrade. I believe there are two rotor engines. If we go into engine swap, you could put in an I-4. Why would you do that? Why would you put in a V8? It's a rotary, that would be blasphemy. But this one right here though, a four rotor, hmm? That, that piques my interest. Let's see what that does. 690 horsepower. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Um, do we need that much power? I'm not sure. I love that they have the attention to detail to put a rotor in here for rotor and compression. And it almost reaches 10,000 RPM. That's what we want to see. I didn't engine swap it. This is the stock engine and it's making 589 horsepower. Holy cow, it's an S2. It's going from a B to an S2. That is insane. Oh my gosh. This thing is so fast now. I'd hope it was for being an S2. My gosh. Oh. <laughs> This thing's a rocket. And now it screams up to almost 10,000 RPM with the rotary engine. That's what you want to hear. We're racing this Porsche. See ya. <laughs> Guess what? That race right there just paid for all the mods we just did to this car. The race engine only has the restrictor plate on it, but it makes 718 horsepower. So you could get more horsepower out of doing the engine swap. And honestly, I kind of want to do it now. Why not? Screw it. Whatever. Money doesn't mean anything. I own all the cars I want in this game. Here we go. Wow. That sounds way different. That is crazy sounding. And this goes above 10,000 RPM. Holy cow. Cow. That thing is absolutely crazy, and it's awesome that it's a rotary. I wish there were more rotary cars out there on the streets. The Saline S7. This is a car that not many people know about, and it's very awesome. It has the roof scoop on top, a super long tail, and it went for the top speed record for a production car once. I think Tony Stark actually had one in Iron Man 1 and probably 2, but it's just such an interesting, different design. Saline still exists. They're making a four-cylinder sports car. This thing is just one of those cars that you need to push it to its top speed limit. It's just such a crazy car, like flying down the middle of this street here, all the lines whizzing by you so fast. This car's kind of like the McLaren F1 of America, in a sense. That's kind of a way of thinking about it. Saline's kind of a tuner company like Shelby. The Saline S7 is just such a cool car that no one knows about. The Lotus Extige. 
This is probably Lotus's best looking car. It's very much like the Elise where it's small and compact and has a very similar shape. So it's keeping the same brand and style to it, but it's so much better. This is one of those cars that you take out for a Sunday drive, flying through the dirt in our Lotus Extige. We're coming up on a speed zone. Speed zone! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go fast. Don't fail me now, oh crap, no, 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 oh, yes, yes, barely hit it. It's a very good car, and what the heck just happened? The Jaguar XJ220, this also looks a little bit like the Saline S7, and it might be one of those top speed production cars. It's very sleek and open. Lots of ovals in it and tons of glass that you can see everywhere. Another very fast car for its time, doing over 200 miles an hour. And that wing in the back, I love how the wing is integrated into the body and it covers basically the entire thing except the very edges of the back fenders. Oh man, this thing, that sound. Revving so high, that is the sound of speed. Rear wheel drive with lots of power. This thing wants to kick out. So let's hit this drift zone. Come on. Oh, oh, very close to 30,000 points. Come on, give it to me. 40,000. Yes, okay. Now let's just get across the line. There we go. I believe that's two stars. We at least got to try the AMG GTR. It's front engine and it's very growly and very deep. And I really don't like that. But sound is part of a car. And if it just doesn't sound good, you're not going to enjoy it. You're not going to drive it. Some people love this stuff. I'm just not that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna end this one here, but we had some fun with some very different cool cars. So if you like this, share with a friend, and if you wanna see more like this, hit subscribe. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.